Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Ancestors Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on acquiring more genetic mutations in babies, basically getting gaining more abilities. It's all about abilities before we go exploring or expanding. We're focusing on evolving. Okay, so the first thing that I need to mention is when you evolve and it changes your settlement location. No elders would have died here, so there will not be any corpses on the ground. Uh, as we've already determined, the corpses are what will give us our neuron energy in order to uh, unlock the normal neurons that we will be getting eventually. At the moment though we're still working on the genetic mutations of babies so that is what we want many more so I've got I'm on a female so I need to find a mate can't wait to get the ability where it will automatically couple us that's an elder male so he's no good well I could use him but I prefer to use the adults adult female oh adult male I think it said and they're not related so let's groom Ooh. oh they are coupled with me already well I must have just done it Right, okay, let's go have babies. So just to show, <clears throat> I've currently got, whoops, I've currently got just these three, three special uh, mutations. Okay, these three special abilities. Um, just to show. So we're going to get some more. That's mate. And give birth. Okay, that baby's got a special genetic mutation. Communication. Okay, we can need to give birth again. What I'll do is give birth to all the babies and then we can look at <coughs> the uh, mutations. That baby's got a special mutation. Omnivore, very, very useful to have. And we'll look at why once I've done all of the babies. So that couple's got their two babies. I now need to move on to another couple. Adult female from fertile and single. So here we go. Now, is she coupled? No, she's single. So we need to find her a partner. No, female. He's an elder, I believe. Elder female. Um, remember what we can do is call the clan now to make it easier to find the apes because they do like to wander around all over the place and some of them can be hard to find so if you call your clan it brings them closer and then easier to find who you want so that's already coupled so is that one that's an elder Elder, I'm going to need to sleep through the night. Um, another way to bring your clan close is we can't drink, I need to inspect it. So let's inspect because I don't know that it's water yet. Now I know it's water. So now, if you drink, that also brings the clan members close. Your stamina level depends on the way you drink, eat and sleep over a 24 hour period. Your body will reset your needs after each sleeping period. Okay, so now that they're all close drinking, you can call your clan again 
and they'll all be within range. Do you see now all the adults are linked to me via a line, except for one. In the bottom right settlement circle you'll see there's one else that's still not following me. And that's probably the male that I need. Oh, here we go. No, they're coupled. No, so let's go over here a bit and do a clan call. See if I can bring them back into the fold. Although the most effective way, this will happen to you where you can't find one of them. Just keep drinking. Um, let's sleep though, so it's daytime, so we can see what we're doing. Right, that should be enough. Notice it shows us our food, water and sleep. How much we need of any of them. If they're small circles, that means we need to eat. If it's food, drink. If it's water or sleep. Uh, so if you're playing and you want to know, you wanna, you're going to go off on an expedition. You're going to go off wandering in the jungle. But you want to make sure that all of your, your food, drink and sleep how topped up they are go lie in the bed lie down for a minimum of one hour and then it shows you what you need so you can see all mine are good uh, so yeah finding this clan member are they here around me yet see there's one that's out of range so I'm going to keep drinking You can do the same trick with eating. Eating will bring them all, providing their hands are empty. If you are foolish enough to give your clan members sticks or any other item, that means they won't be able to drink or eat when you do. If, however, all of the clan members, their hands are empty and you've not burdened them with an item, they will all follow your actions of drinking or eating. That will make sure that they have food and they have water. Also, it will bring them close in to you. Now let's see, are they all here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got eight, so they are all here. Adult female. Female. Adult male. Right, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm on a female, I can't find the adult males, so I'm going to use an elder male to mate with. Oh, I've done an objective. Identify the jungle's hidden water oasis. I didn't actually do that, so I don't know why it's done that, but never mind. So that's a feat unlocked. I can now evolve once I've got enough uh, genetic mutations. Right, let's lie down. Call my mate. Hopefully we won't have an art attack coming over it. And let's mate. Right, let's give birth. Remember I don't do them more than one baby at a time, I do them each individually because then that wastes 15 years. We're on year 41 now. 
right so we can mate again we didn't get a genetic mutation do you see the difference in the babies in the settlement circle the ones with mutations have big bold yellow haze around them ones with that uh, do not have a genetic mutation are just a little yellow dot do you see the difference there let's do another baby and see whether they have a mutation see so we got two little yellow dots that means they're two babies without genetic modification uh, genetic neurons and two babies that have like a yellow puff around them so a big yellow circle they mean that means that they have genetic modifications so if I go into the evolution you can see now that I have two more babies with genetic potentials this one has an omnivore mutation and this one has a communication potential so they're both babies in order to what I now need to do is turn them into adults it's the same process as these first three I now need to turn these into adults but I do want to try and get more babies with mutations because I have one more couple that I can do so let's find another female here we go now I need to find her a male and I see here's an elder male and he's single so we use him Okay, a couple formed, let's go sleep or lie down. And let's make. Let's give birth. Okay, it's okay, we did not what too worried if they don't have um a uh, genetic mutation we've got I've got two so that'll do to start with okay so it's only given us two out of them six babies so what do we do now we pass a generation and that will give us then six more opportunities to get a special genetic mutation so I'm now going to now that I've got all six babies born I'll now go to the evolution and pass a generation. Can skip this now because I've shown it before. And here we go, the genetic mutation is revealed. Is one was omnivore. and the other was communication so let's have a look at what benefits they will give us okay so this will give us pick and the members of the lineage will need fewer items with curative properties to reduce the du duration of food poisoning so that's very useful so when I'm drinking water to which is one of the ways you can purify the poisoning um, I'll need to drink less water to, in order to do that and what about this one Q Qui I should say Qui and the members of the lineage will have a higher tolerance to stress and fear when facing adversity so that will make us better in a fight two important um, genetic mutations these are now adults so they can go one more generation into elders before and then I will have to evolve so I've got another opportunity now to have six more babies and see if I can get more and notice now I have the I can analyze the elders from the previous generation which would give me once I have babies born it will then give me my neuron energy big chunks of it so let's go here 
adult female. Oh, that's handy. And that's the one omnivore that... This is the one that has the uh, omnivore mutation. You might be wondering, if um, adults have uh, genetic mutations, is there a benefit to breeding two adults with genetic mutations together or with ones that have a genetic mutation with an adult that doesn't have a, a genetic mutation? I have tried um, many, many times experimenting with this two adults that have genetic mutations and one adult that does and one adult that doesn't and it makes no difference as in you do not get increased chance of getting a genetic mutation so don't worry about that <clears throat> right let's lie down call my mate get some babies on the go see if we can get another genetic mutation Get birth. They've got a genetic mutation. Metabolism. Excellent. I like getting them ones. But what I will like is getting the attack and dexterity. Oh, I need to do one more baby. Okay, that baby didn't have a genetic mutation, but that's okay, I'm happy I got one. You notice the elders look grey, <laughs> which I expect you'd expect. It makes sense, in other words. Right, here we go, it's the female. Oops. Let's find her an adult, or an elder, whichever. Adult male, there we go. Oh, family related, so we can't uh, join with them. Uh, let's call the tribe in. Bring them all in close, so I don't have to walk around looking for them. should have an adult here now. Adult male coupled. Adult female. Adult female. Adult male single. Family related. It's no good. Elder female. Elder female, for goodness sake, where are the males at? Am I on a male? No, female. Adult male, single, there we go, right, let's groom. I think the next one we'll have to make with an elder. When you evolve and your settlement changes to a different area, you the the adult the clan members that follow you, it doesn't affect the first time you move location change location, but all of the adults and elders the clan members will follow you if you have enough beds in the new settlement. If you don't have enough beds made in your new settlement, 
then they will stay in your in your previous settlement and you will need to go and get them that's a very important pro tip which is always build enough beds in each of your new settlements to handle all of your clan members so you'll need four beds six beds wait a minute no let's work this out you'll need four beds for your elders and four beds for your adults the babies are, are do not fall under that condition so you'll need a minimum of nine beds one for yourself eight beds four for your adults four for your elders so you need to build eight beds in all of your settlements otherwise you'll end up leaving adult uh, clan members in previous settlements important for you to know um, now what was I doing I've totally thrown myself off oh yeah I was mating see I keep unlocking the neurons the standard neurons um, but I'm not focusing on them yet right let's mate birth mate again give birth Okay, didn't get anything special with that coupling, but that's all right. Um, I can now analyze these corpses and start getting huge chunks of neuron energy. You see that? See it filling up? That's only with just two analyzing two adults, two elders that have died. Um, this place is going to fill up with corpses real quick because it's a good thing. Look at that see all that neuron energy right let's find another single female here we go no they're joined adult female single there we go that's who we want and I'm just gonna choose who can I find they'll have to be an elder I think they're coupled Elder male, there you go. Oh, it's family related. Elder male single, there you go. Let's groom him. Couple formed. I wish you could skip this bit. It's a bit of a nuisance. You know, that's nice and quick, you see. But there's this little gap of it having to go up, wait, and then go down. It's just a nuisance, a minor inconvenience. Right, let's give birth. Okay, so we only got one mutation. And. Overall though, that gives us three, three more new mutations. Um, these two, remember, are now adults. This one, I now need to make an adult. Gog, need to make an ad adult. Uh, let's see, what do these do for us? Pick, and the members of the lineage will need fewer items with curative properties. Yeah, I've done them already. So let's just now. Now we're going to pass on. Now that I have my six babies, I'm going to pass a generation to evolve to to get the uh, baby to an adult stage. Oh, I do have this. I can unlock. So let's unlock it body language so I'm using now my neuron energy from the center 
to unlock the standard neurons body language it is now possible to ask from a distance some clan members to come closer and follow so all useful abilities you're going to see this fill up you really are so yeah with the normal neurons that you unlock through doing different actions and abilities it uses up your neuron energy from the center here to unlock it and fill it once you've unlocked a standard neuron like this you need to then go to your when you're going to pass a generation you need to make sure you use a reinforcement point you get one reinforcement point for each baby you have so I'm gonna reinforce that means now that it will always be powered with neuron energy if I didn't reinforce it it will still be there in future generations but they will need to use neuron energy to unlock it and when you've got about 100 uh, neurons around here you'll need them all unlocked because you obviously wouldn't have nowhere near enough energy neuron energy to unlock them all again so make sure as you get them to do that reinforce them um, right so we need to pass a generation I'm going to skip it the uh, cinematic and there we go so metabolism has now revealed so if we lie down and have a look Gog and the members of the lineage will have the capacity to better metabolize nutrients from various food sources to maximize energy right so that's the same as the one we got previously that's cool right the next thing now for us to do is to evolve I've done the feat already remember I got that feat and so not to waste it I'm gonna evolve I can't leave it any later because two of the babies with the genetics new genetic uh, abilities are elders and they will die and I will lose their genetic modifications if I pass another generation so that's why I'm evolving before they die a shame all of these evolution feats are wasted I could have well, I wish I could have just built the settlement up slowly to unlock them but sometimes you can't help it sometimes you use up evolution feats whether you like it or not yeah skipping another 84,000 years and 60,000 years with births So the settlement, now that I've evolved, we're going to be moved to another location. It might be back to where we started, the Hidden Falls Oasis, but that probably won't occur until about the fifth or sixth evolution. For now, it's put us in a different part of the jungle. So we have a settlement in a different new bit of the jungle. I'm not, um, I'm not to, discovering the locations because they're feats that I can use to evolve with I'm not wasting any unless I've got enough genetic modification uh, neurons from babies to evolve with right so who are we on we're on an adult male so I need to female adult female there we go let's groom them Right, let's show the new benefits we just got from evolving with them three new neurons. Um, trying to find a bed again. Let's just build a bed. Build it on here where it's easy to see. A lot of the settlements have overhangs. You're better off building your beds underneath the overhang. 
because that way when it's raining they won't get harmed by the cold oh there's the timer so okay I want to build a bed show the benefits we've got from evolving and then I'll end the episode oh there we go there's a plant the chaos uh, leaves so I need four at the moment to build it I should have actually built uh, eight beds at that other settlement before that was a bad mistake of mine I should have built eight beds I won't repeat that mistake I'm going to build eight beds at this settlement once I've ended the episode oh look wasted uh, well not wasted I can use it for my next um, genetic mutations um, right so let's have a look at the benefits that we've now got so we've got nutrient nutrient absorption more energy is gained per food portion so when I eat I I can eat less food to fill up my energy not so much time wasted eating whilst a saber-toothed tiger is sneaking up behind you to eat you so my survivability has gone up with that xenobotic biotic metabolism the elements used to eliminate food poisoning are more effective so again that means less drinking or less eating of the herbs that heal poisoning food poisoning there's three different types of poisoning there's fungal poisoning s animal creature snake poisoning uh, there are centipedes which you see in episode one they poison and the last poisoning so you've got food poisoning animal poisoning and fungal poisoning uh, this communication one all threats induce less fear so when I'm conquering out exploring and I need to conquer uh, or animals I'll get less fear so it'll help me with fighting or staying alive my survivability just went up with that and you will notice as you unlock these uh, special abilities they sometimes unlock neurons well they're not unlock but they unlock as in that you can then get an option to see this one here that's linked to this neuron but that neuron is linked as well to that one so they're in a group um, this one over here you see when this unlocked this unlocked here next to it so it's a growing neuron another reason why you want to do this and get your special uh, mutations right okay so the time has gone I'll end the episode here um, you can see now that we I'm slowly gaining more and more abilities so I've got six six now six abilities some are passive some are quite very useful when you're actually I haven't got to any of the fighting ones yet but these are passive ones that will help me in various ways and the goal at the beginning before you start getting into the evolving the, the expanding and exploring is to get lots more of these and then you can do it without fear okay wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye